you can find an overview of all my videos at www.genesispc.com and you click on the button videos on YouTube and you get a complete listing of all the videos I created for you on Excel on Excel VBA on Access Access VBA and VB script this video is about creating percentile lines this is the 75% line and that is the 25% line so these stacks are with in that range and I will do that also in this case what is the difference between those two cases it's kind of essential because there are four basic types of charts or graphs in Excel see this is my little table so a pie chart will only show one series of values and it will ignore the other series or you do the other series and then it ignores this one an XY chart will show both of them and then we have to the right a column or a bar chart and a line chart what is the difference between XY or scatter and a line chart the horizontal axis the X axis here are categories and there are real values so in this case it will show you that there were no observations at the value 4 this one will completely ignore that because there is no value 4 no category 4 in this column column charts do the same they will ignore 4 so what we are going to do we are going to make percentile lines for an XY chart and for a line chart because they are so different because they have a different axis horizontally we have to treat them differently if you want to know much more about these differences and how you can handle them you you need more information and I provide that in my book Excel for scientists and the Excel VBA either one can be found on genesispc.com let's start with the this one that has categories on the horizontal axis so wh what do we need to do we have to provide the percentile value for each individual column or category and we do that with a hidden set of columns right here so we calculate in this whole range with the percental ink included function inclusive at the 25 percent b2 for b21 lock it make it absolute either by typing string signs or by using f4 if you are in a window setting mac doesn't have that option and do that for all the categories do something similar for the 75 percent one 75 percent all for the same values b2 for b21 and that will take care of it so how do you get that in here i'm going to delete this one I'm going to delete that one how do you get those values in there right click in the plot area select the data and add a new series of values the series name is 25 percent or something like that the series values are these okay and add one more series of values this time the 75 percent percentile or whatever percentile you need select the values and we get a third one okay all we have to do now is make them give them a different look so I'm going to to do this one 
right click on it change the series chart type and you you choose whatever you want but I'm going to make it a area chart and the other one also an area chart and okay it the problem is now that the 75% is in front of the 25% so how do we change the order in which they are displayed in which they are overlaid we can do that through formulas uh, click on the 75% notice that there is a formula in here it uses the series function this is the label 75% and then the values and then it says this is number three in the stacking order and I'm changing that into two and enter so now it will be behind the other one I don't have to do anything on that one but that automatically is set now to three in the formula uh, you can hide those values if you want to but you have to plot them somewhere on your sheet the approach is very different for xy charts or chatter chart because they don't have categories here so they this is an xy chart I, I used units or temperatures or whatever you want on certain dates I plotted those but this time I have to do something else I don't, first of all I don't have to do it for every single value on the x-axis I have to find out what set of coordinations is here what the set of coordinations is there here and there so I need four sets of coordinations I'm deleting what I had there and this is what I did I took the lowest value here I did that with the min function for the minimum they are the max function of the values in column a same here min max value we are going to calculate here the percentile of 25 percent for the array b2 for b27 locked and okay same story there it's the same percental version and now what we are going to do we are going to make these the two sets of coordinates so let's implement them again I'm deleting the old one how do we get everything in there like before we right click in the plot area we select the data we are going to add a new set of data and the series x values these two the y values make sure that you delete what was already in there so that's why I used the, the collapse button and here is the first set and then the second series of values set of coordinates 9 4 11 collapse button 70.8 and here we have our values it's hard to see at this point but it is this guy you see the beginning and the end point right click change the chart type and make that scatter with lines and do the same there scatter with lines and we click on OK and we get the 75 and the 25 percent and all the values in Side that range are between 25 and 75 percent as I told you already you need probably much more to know here are some tools two cd-roms and a book when you buy this book from genesispc.com you can give it to other people but you probably want it back 
the advantage of CD-ROMs is that you copy them on your machine and you can give them to your co-workers in your department and have and let them have their own version download it on their computer and then give it to the other one etc that's the advantage of the cd-roms they are a little more expensive but they are much more flexible and they are more interactive 